Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark E. Extreme, and we haven't done one of these in a long time. And so you may not know who this jabroni is next to me, but if you don't, introduce yourself. I am Skeeter Skyflyer, because I can fly, and I now can afford the network again, so my subscription is back up. That's right, so this Sunday we're going to be watching WWE SummerSlam, so here are our predictions for the, the big show. The, the, the show, not the wrestler. So first we got Stephen Amell, the Arrow Man, and, and, what, and Neville facing King Barrett and uh, Stardust. Oh, I'm an actor from Hollywood, and ooh, I'm going to come in ooh. and pretend uh, that I'm a wrestler. And I'm going to pretend to fall on the mat, I'm going to pretend like it hurts, I'm going to pretend like it's a story. You know what? I don't go into a grocery store and pretend I'm a cook and just buy a bunch of stuff to try to be a cook. You know what? You don't step into our ring. You don't step into our in industry, Stephen Amell, and just pretend like you can come in and, and drop elbows and do suplexes. You know, this match kind of really angers me. Yeah. Because I don't pretend to be Spider-Man. He doesn't try to be, pretend to be Spider-Man. I don't try to pretend to, to be a, a carpenter. Get out. Uh, I hope you get a concussion. I hope you break your neck and can never walk again. Hope Stardust and King Barrett cripple your legs. Dolph Ziggler versus Rusev. And you know, honestly, this isn't the match I want to see. I want to see Lana versus the other blonde bit. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Yeah. That's the match we want to see. Why isn't that happening? Yeah, that should they they booked it wrong. Ziggler, you're a great wrestler and stuff, but like we don't want to see you in there. Yeah, I like that you wear denim and that you bedazzle it, because that's if I ever get some extra cash that I don't have to either pay my wrestling dues for you or buy the network or buy uh, meals for you. Then yeah, I want to get some denim. Does your cousin Debbie still bedazzle denim? Yeah, she does. I think, you know, if I had to pick, I think Dolph Ziggler's gonna take this one. Yeah, because Rusev's all like, hey, you're kissing him and you're not kissing me. Mm -hmm. And I got hit by a car once when I saw a girl that I liked that was kissing on this other guy. Now every time you walk, your knee clicks. We got Team PCV, B, Team PCB versus Team Bella versus Team BAD. There's too many letters in this match. It's like an eye chart. I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm here to watch wrestling and hot girls, not, I'm not here to, to be a part of a spelling bee. <laughs> yeah, because if we wanted to be in a spelling bee, we would have stayed all the way through middle school. Yeah. If we don't, if, if we had to pick a winner, Paige is my favorite in this one. She's pretty. <sighs> She's pretty. <sighs> uh, I like Team Bad. Yeah. Because they're bad. Yeah. You know what I wish BAD stood for? Boobies, ass, and. No. Kevin Owens versus Cesaro, and there's something I can guarantee there's gonna be a lot of in this one. <laughs> these guys, you know, these guys are good workers. Uh, we crossed paths a couple times on some, um, on some, um, on some events, and I think that, I think Kevin Owens is gonna take this one. Cause he can he can do he can do harder hits and stuff. So who you who you got on this one? I think Kevin Owens is gonna win, but what's gonna be in the match? A lot of this. <clears throat> Tough it out. Don't. If I see a tear, you're gonna chop in the neck. I'm not teared. Okay. It's gonna be a hard-hitting match. I'm really looking forward to this one. Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose versus the Wyatt family. I am so stoked that the Wyatt family's back together. And you know what? I like I like scary movies, and I think that they're gonna do some magic and take this one. Yeah, yeah. It's about time they brought in magic because mm -hmm. uh, I like that game because you get all the cards and then you gotta collect them all. Mm -hmm. And you sit there and you're like, I put a spell of binding on you, Seamus versus Randy Orton. So How do you feel about this one? I feel uh I feel this is a, this is a big old feud. This is this is two guys that hate each other and mm -hmm. they want to beat each other up. So I think Randy Orton's going to get it cuz he's going to hit him with the Rico out of nowhere. You know what? I, I can't stand Sheamus's um beard dreadlocks. They creep me out. So I really hope that Randy Orton rips him off in this one, and that's, you know, it may, I could even be okay with a disqualification after that, just as long as we get rid of those disgusting uh, uh, beard dreads. Next match is tag teams. 
It's Ooh. all kinds of tag teams. It's, it's Los Matadores mm -hmm. versus New Day mm -hmm. versus uh, um, uh, Mexico. Lucha, Lucha Dragons. Lu Lucha Dragon. I think one of them's here. Dragons. And the champions, uh, primetime players. Yeah. But the, they're there's gonna be oh. big a uh, big spoiler. Mm -hmm. Big, big spoiler. spoiler. We got another spoiler for you guys from our uh, backstage connection. Malenko. Hulk Hogan is returning this Sunday night at SummerSlam to join the New Day. He it's all been this whole racist thing has been a big storyline. It's an angle. And you know they're using it, and I get it. It makes sense. You know, uh, strike while the iron's hot with racism. Strike but, while the cross is burning. Strike while the cross is burning, and join New Day. Yeah, cause it's like, oh, he's racist. He don't work here no more. And he comes out, and he's like, I'm not racist. I'm not racist. Yeah. He rips a shirt that says racism, and then under it is a New Day shirt, and I, that's how they're gonna reveal it. Right. I read a Vince Russo tweet where he's like, he's gonna rip the clan robe off. But yeah. I guess, oh, that that would be a good way to do it. Yeah, because then it's like, look, I'm not racist no more. Next, we got Ryback versus The Miz versus The Big Show, and I mean, this is a no-brainer. Big Show's the biggest, so just he's gonna sit on them. Yeah, if you're the biggest, you win every time. That's what I, you know, that's how it works in this industry. The big guy always prevails. Um, this isn't an industry for little people. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, I'm, a horn swoggle in El Torito. Yeah, there's uh, some exceptions. Seth Rollins and um, John Cena. Uh, winner take all. Heavyweight title, US title, all of them. You know, I think Seth Rollins is going to take it personally because one, I I hate John Cena. Two, because I hope he breaks his nose again. And three, because, well, I hate John Cena. <laughs> I mean, of course, Seth. Uh, Seth what was Rollins. that? I... Seth Rollins. John Cena's gonna win. I see what you're doing with your mouth. What? Do squats. What did I tell you? If I ever catch you supporting John Cena, 10 squats. Yeah, all right. Go for it. So yeah, this is gonna be a very hard hitting match. It's gonna be get broken noses, gonna get a lot of uh, pain. And um, but at the end of the day, Seth Rollins is gonna take it, and he's gonna walk out of SummerSlam with both of the belts, uh, holding them high. What are you on? That's time. You got three more sets now. And finally, the match that's too big for WrestleMania, we got Brock Lesnar versus The Undertaker in the main event. Brock Lesnar is a beast, and Undertaker is a dead man. I, mm, ugh, I can't. I can't nightmares. You know, at the end of the day, I think that I think that Brock Lesnar is going to take this one again. I uh, I don't I don't want to think about it because I'll uh, I tend to wet myself. You could beat them both though. I could beat them both, and again, we pitched that storyline to the company. They turned it down. You know, maybe uh, maybe at WrestleMania or something, we'll get that we'll get that triple threat everybody's been asking for. Because that match isn't big enough for SummerSlam. That's that's right. So guys, uh, this Sunday is going to be a, an amazing event. Hulk Hogan's joining New Day. Brock Lesnar, Taker, um, John Cena's going to get his nose broken again. Um, we're gonna I'm going to be at Skeeter's house watching it. We're having a little get together after our training session to watch it on the WWE Network. Yeah, I had to sell my couch, so we'll be in a hammock. Yeah. Guys, in the comments below, tell us what you think's gonna happen. Go back and watch some of our past videos, and yeah, we'll see you next time. My name is Mark e Extreme. Yes, it is. You're supposed to say, and I'm Skeeter Skyflyer. Uh, and I'm Skeeter Skyflyer. Subscribe. Okay, if you had, to, if you could have a match with me, what would be the, uh, what type of match would you want to do? Probably about a 30 second jobber match. It would last about 30 seconds. It would probably beat you in probably 30 seconds. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah.